There's another feature in QuickBooks called Memorizing a Transaction. And this feature allows you to memorize transactions that recur on an ongoing basis or maybe there's maybe there is no specific frequency but it's something a transaction that you know that you'll have again. So examples of transactions that you may want to memorize would be those transactions, those things, those automatic withdrawals that come out of your checking account for different things. These kinds of transactions are the transactions that you would want to memorize. So for instance, let's say that you have a um, transaction for your internet service and your internet service is just automatically debited from your checking account so you don't have to remember to send the company a check they just automatically debit your account on the 12th of the month so what you can do is we can enter a check and because it's an automatic debit from your account we'll enter a check with no number so on the 12th of each month, the internet company, which is not on your vendor list, so we're going to add them, will debit your account for $39.97. And this is your monthly fee. internet expense is not on my chart of accounts so I'm going to add it And because this check will occur every single month and I don't want to have to remember to enter it, what I want to do is memorize this transaction. So I, before you can memorize the transaction, you have to have it completely filled out and make sure that you put what you want to show up every month. Notice that I put monthly fee and not December internet bill because if I put December internet bill and I memorize it next month in January when I enter the transaction again, it will show up as December internet bill okay so make sure you put on the memo line what you want to show up every single month and then we come here to edit and we say memorize this check and so we can name it whatever we want I'm just gonna leave it at internet company okay and you can say remind me or don't remind me which I don't understand why would you memorize it if you don't want it to remind you or automatically enter okay so I'm gonna say automatically enter because I know that it happens every month on the 12th and so here we'll change our frequency and it is every month so we select monthly and the next date that it will occur will be January the 12th so we select January 12th and if you if it were something that you were going to pay off in a certain number of payments this is a way to be able to track to make sure they don't charge you extra payments so let's say if you have an agreement where maybe you're leasing some equipment and you're going to pay that lease purchase for 24 months there's one way of being able to track to make sure that they're not charging you more than 24 payments now the days in advance would be how many days in advance would you like for QuickBooks to automatically enter your transaction. I'm going to say five days. I want it to enter it five days in advance so I can use that in my cash flow projectors. And so I click OK and it memorizes my transaction. Now if I come to my list, I have a list called Memorize Transaction List and on this list it will show all of my memorized transactions so my company internet is on that list okay now from the memorized transactions list you can enter a transaction that's already set so let's say if we wanted to enter this transaction you can just highlight the transaction that you want to enter click the enter transaction button 
and it will automatically record whatever that transaction is and we save and close. Now checks are not the only thing that can be memorized. You can memorize any type of transaction. So as we just showed you, we did a check. There was already a journal entry entered so we can memorize journal entries. You can memorize bills. So if you have a bill that recurs every month, you can memorize that. If you have invoices that you send out every single month or every quarter or whatever on a, on a regular basis, you can memorize an invoice. So this memorized transaction feature can save you a lot of time because if it's an invoice that you send out every single month, as opposed to having to go in and create that invoice every month, you can just memorize that transaction. So the memorized transaction feature can save you time on a lot, lots of different things. If you have certain companies or customers that you automatically debit their account every month, you can create a sales receipt and memorize it. So it will automatically capture that sale every single month. So memorized transactions can be any type of transaction that you enter into QuickBooks. A bill, an invoice, a sales receipt, a check, a credit card transaction, any type of transaction can be memorized.